Coach Cal Jones from the Grand Park Athletic Association says he and his partners try to make Grand Park a safe haven for children. These are the storage units the thief broke into by cutting a small lock off the door. News 4 Jacks reporter Destiny McKeever is live from Grand Park where several football games are happening despite the burglary. Destiny. Ethan, those people are playing football as usual. They tell me they will remain in good spirits because they believe the things that were stolen will come back to them. This is the storage unit Grand Park Athletic Association says was vandalized and burglarized, costing them thousands of dollars worth of football equipment. Most of the thing that was vandalized is, is basically our um, holding sheds that we have out here. And it's basically the only thing that we got to keep stuff in, which is one of our buildings over here. Coach Cal Jones says these units hold their football helmets, shoulder pads, and blocking dummies for a youth football league. They were all stolen. Over at the concession stand, the thief took several deep fryers and propane tanks. A lot of graffiti, you know, bad words and stuff like that. But like I said, most of it, it was just the equipment that got stolen, which, you know, we non-profitable. This summer, there are special games organized like the 7-on-7. Seven seven. The park remains open with the community donations. Coach Jones says he and the rest of the staff want the best for the children in the area. You know, they talk about the 0809 area. We know about all the killing and all this here going on over here. So this is definitely a safe haven for the kids that really, really are very much interested in football. If you can't help us, please don't try to hurt us. That's our message here. And there are no surveillance cameras in this park, so no video of the thief. If you happen to know who did this, you're to call Crime Stoppers. That number is 866-845-TIPS. Reporting live in Grand Park, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4.